Lesson 7. In this book, whenever I need to introduce something new in Latin, I first introduce it in English, just so the reader can understand the concept. Then, after they understand the concept in English, we then study how to do that same thing in Latin. And that's what's happening here in Lesson 7. In later lessons, you'll need to know what the subject of a sentence is for the purpose of reading Latin sentences. So here in Lesson 7, we're learning what they are in English. So as you can see in the first sentence, I say that a noun is a person, place, or thing, and the subject of the sentence is the noun that is doing the action in the sentence. So for the sake of practice, let's do our exercises. In number one, I is the subject. In number two, it's you. Number three, she. In number four, the main part of the sentence is the part that says Fred likes to go jogging. But just to make it more challenging, I've added in some words at the beginning where it says on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you have to be careful not to let that confuse you and just look at the last part of the sentence. And if you do that, you'll notice that the subject is Fred. Number five, the subject is Chicago. Number six, the subject is children. Number seven, car. Number eight, oatmeal. Number nine, Switzerland. And in number 10, I'm doing the same thing that I did in number four. I'm adding in some extra words to make it slightly more challenging. So the first few words where it says in the winter, that's just extra information. The main part of the sentence to focus on is the part that says grandfather always wears his old brown coat. So the subject of the sentence here is grandfather.